rather than just Dr. J telling you things, to have somebody that's actually living here in Vietnam that could come and talk about the customs and traditions, what it's like in your family to have Thanksgiving. So somebody contacted the embassy and said, the U.S. Embassy, hey, could you find us a speaker? So the U.S. Embassy contacts his family and says, Miss Libby, can you come and speak to St. Paul American School about Thanksgiving? And she said, easy. I'm a mom of four kids at the St. Paul American School, I know it. So Miss Sweeney here, Miss Libby Sweeney, is going to be talking to us about what it's like to have Thanksgiving in their homes in America. But before we do, we are so thankful that they came to our school this year. She had to come here because she's on an art Fulbright scholarship. So she's been here to study. And you know what? It's pretty amazing that her husband was able to come with and the kids. All right? So you've got Noah and Ellie, the twins. Stand up, Noah and Ellie, because your mother's going to be speaking. You should be standing up. Where are you? Noah, Alec, oh, here's one. Alec, where's Noah? Oh, he's just walking in. How about Carter? Carter might have to get on the table when you see it. Oh, there he is. All right. And Finn, Finn, where are you? Finn, where are you? There's Finn. So you got an idea, okay? That's a new lesson of Fulbright Scholarship. She speaks at a banquet this big. And here they are with four of their kids from America. So we're so thankful for them to do this. At this time, I would like to introduce you to Miss Libby to talk to you guys about what it's like to have Thanksgiving in America. Give her a nice round of applause. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. It's really an honor to be in Vietnam and especially to have experienced uh, St. Paul for the last four months. We've had a great experience with this. Uh, I will keep this very brief. I see bubble tea in the back, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, today we'll talk about a time a little bit ago. A group of people took a long, arduous journey to a land far, far away. Everything was different there. The food, the weather, the language, the customs. <laughs> oh, maybe that's us traveling to the night. This is about a different group of people and a different journey. These are some uh, paintings that are often shown to us as uh, the pilgrims ahead that traveled across the ocean. These pilgrims were looking to celebrate their religion without prosecution. And so they left Europe and came and started colonies in the Americas. And what we're told is that the native people living there became their friends, helped them grow things, and this was a shared harvest festival. The paintings that we see are often like this, friendly and cheerful community. If you dig a little deeper into history, you may find that this story that we're told is a bit of a fairy tale. There was, as you can imagine, great conflict between the pilgrims and the people whose land they were trying to take over. It also turns out that the pilgrims weren't such good farmers and hardly had enough to eat. They definitely did not have bubble tea. Historians even disagree about whether or not there was even the first things there. But anyway, we're here today. We're going to have our own Thanksgiving. This is our dog. He's dressed like a pilgrim. Uh, Thanksgiving is always celebrated in America on the first Thursday of November. So here we are. Fourth Thursday of November. Got Ellie helping me. <laughs> this is uh, Norman Rockwell. He's an iconic painter from America. And he is one of the people that really helped cement the ideas that we think of in America for Thanksgiving with his painting. He painted over 300 covers for a really important magazine in America's history called the Saturday Evening Post. There's a tradition in America related to Thanksgiving called the, the wishbone, and this is where once you dry the wishbone part of the turkey, two people hold onto it and they tug at it, and you make a wish, and whoever has the bigger end 
painted the turkey bone will have their wish come true. This is one of his paintings showing that. This is Cousin Reginald catches the Thanksgiving turkey, <laughs> or maybe not. He also touched on wartime themes. This is mother and son peeling potatoes from 1945. From 1922. And my favorite, this is called Freedom from Want. It's a very iconic painting in America. A lot of people have parried it, parodied it. So you can see it has food, chicken, take out. The Simpsons. This is the Fantastic Four.
There we go. I want to ask you this question. You saw pictures. True or false? This is the way that pilgrims dress. How many of you raise your hand if you think that's